just reading some idiot comments on the new Injustice movie. Like, if you say something's bad and then you have no reason why it's bad, I'm like, oh, you're always fucking sperm, still wasting your fucking time. Same person? Beyond awful. Well, different person, right? Okay, uneducated film geek. Mitchell O'Brien, different person, right? Copy, okay, Beyond Beyond Awful Far Wars, Beyond Awful Far Wars. I like the comic, I like the comic. What the fuck? And it has a different number of likes and retweets. Is this article just getting the same shit? So, like, two, one or two people don't like the movie, but have no reason to not like the movie, and you decided to run with the story. To get some clicks in your fucking shit. Get out of here, man. It was, it was, it was a good movie. Fuck you. We're in some place there, but I overall enjoyed the movie. It was a very easy movie to watch, and Justice was. It was not a bad movie. So anyway, so everyone likes Squid Game stuff there. I keep on seeing it every fucking where I go. I mean, whether it be Instagram, or whether it be... Uh, sh whether, yeah, Instagram, or whether it be uh, Facebook, or, you know, Facebook probably not, but like uh, YouTube especially. Squid Game Easter Egg, Squid Game Explained, Squid Game Spoilers, Squid Game Reactions, yada, yada, yada. Whenever you see shit like that, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. I mean, like, whenever you see reaction to something, you can kind of skip it, but when it starts covering in your news channels, I'm like, okay, this is a big fucking deal. This is a big deal. For streaming stuff, this is a, this is a big deal. It was like Stranger Things, but I never really watched Stranger Things, actually, either. Uh, it was never really my thing. Maybe it is, but like I never really gave it a chance. I guess at the time I never gave this for a real chance either. But um, that that's no that, that that's that's a, that's a thing for the past. So um, yeah, Squid Game. Uh, the reason I watched it was because I'm a I'm a big fan of a show called Liar Game, uh, based from uh, 2009, I believe 2009, 2008, something like that. And it had, it had a sequel, it had a something called uh, Liar Game Reborn, and it had a Korean spinoff as well in 2000, I don't know, you look it up. Um, so it was pretty popular in its own right there, but nothing uh, that the masses picked on, because it, was, it wasn't a simple format like uh, like Squid Game is. You know, Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3, Shape Games, you know, things like that. I'm not going to spoil the, the show for you, but like, you know, some, some simplistic formula. Liar Game is more about the seats using simple structures uh, to get people to do nasty things even though they may or may not want to. Definitely the same kind of format. Definitely the same kind of format. So uh, a friend of mine uh, about a year ago recommended me this series called Alice, Alice in Borderline. He didn't know why. He, he never knew that I liked Liar Game, but he, uh, he he's a good judge of movies and stuff like that, so I gave it a shot. First couple of episodes wasn't really impressed by the formats of it because it was definitely in the vein of Liar Game. I'm uh, sorry, of of, um, of Squid Game. At the time, of course, Squid Game, Game, Squid Game didn't exist, but the format of it was very similar to Squid Game, uh, in which you are basically taking chances with like very little uh, probability of seeding. Unlike in Squid Game. There is a small, tiny, minute chance that if you picked up on a ton of clues beforehand, you can get out of this trap. But the odds are very, very slim. It was basically, I think it was like a, the first game in this show was like three doors, or three or two doors. And basically, it doesn't really matter in the end. You pick the wrong door, they all look alike. There's no clues. You pick the wrong door, you die instantly. That person dies instantly, and the, the other ones go to the correct door, obviously. But there's multiple rooms, so odds are you're going to die before that one. Eventually, someone picked up on the pattern and got through, and that's how they made it to the next round. But it was, and the only way you made it through that room is if you remembered everything that happened before you got in the area in the first place. It was giving you small clues before you even got in that building. If you paid attention to all those clues, then you have a chance to survive. Other than that there, coin flip. Like in Squid Game, I'm not going to say what happened my, when they were going across that bridge. I'll just put it that way. Coin flip. Coin flip. But worse. Maybe the same thing because instant death, instant death. You know? So, um, 
of course, there's multiple games in this thing, and uh, the way it ends up there is... I'm not going to say too much about Squid Game, because it's still rather new, but it's kind of messed up how the finale happens in this one. But trust me, if you like Squid Game, you're going to like you're gonna like Alice in Borderlands. It's the same kind of feel. Look at the switch in the space there. Messed up things happen in this thing. Uh, you don't know who you can trust. There's definitely assholes in here that like to abuse the system, like in Squid Game, like in Trinity Busan as well. There's an asshole that likes to abuse things. Uh, same thing in Liar Game as well. There's an asshole that likes to abuse the system. Uh, so, like, it's, it's very similar in concept. So, I was asking my friend about that. Hey, when's season two coming out there? And uh, he didn't give it an answer, but um, because, but uh, according to this one, the season two is coming out uh, very soon in a couple of months. Um, however, it could change, you know, things like that. So, um, I'm also looking forward to upload as well on Amazon Prime. The Boys is coming out soon as well. So, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to, you know, if you're, you know, if you got something to look at. So, uh, I still on my queue. I got. Uh, I'm watching Kim's Convenience, uh, season five, uh, Murder in the Building, uh, finale of Squid Game, and Triple Frontier. So I got a couple of uh, things to watch in the meantime after uh, playing Metroid Dread. So there's quite a bit of things for me on my plate. Uh, so yeah. So definitely, if you don't know about Alice in Borderland, it's definitely a very, very good show. Um, if you don't like the beginning part, you can kind of skip to episode four, I believe, when the, uh, uh, I don't want to say what they are, but like, if you know Squid Game, they're kind of like VIPs, and they all come together, and they're trying to discuss what's going to go on there. So, yeah, when they come into play, oh, it gets messed up. Oh, they... I'll put it this way. They abused their power. I'll put it that way. They abused their power. Um, yeah, this, this, this one, I believe it's, uh, I believe it's this girl, right? No, not this girl. Uh, I believe it's like this girl right here. She's like, she's like, uh, kind of friendly with the, the pro tag. And one of the, one of the, the VIPs decides to abuse that fact because he has a bigger entourage around him and a lot of guns. And he wants to, uh, take advantage of his power by, uh, planting something inside of her. So, uh, I'm not going to see what happens, but I'll just put it this way. It's not the best situation. I'll put it that way. Woo! Yeah, it's messed up. So, uh, yeah, definitely enjoy that thing if you can. That's it for now. Clack off. <laughs>